Today, Aaron interviews established Grand Theft Auto 5 YouTuber Swifters and discusses how he grew his audience to 120,000 subscribers. This episode is brought to you by BenQ, bringing enjoyment and quality to life. What's going on, Freedom Family? My name is Aaron, and today's episode on Impulse, we're going to show you another successful YouTuber, just like every Saturday. And this time it's Swifters. Swifters actually started out Black Ops 2 Zombies and now has turned into a Grand Theft Auto YouTuber. And he's gonna show you how just the fun and the passion of uploading YouTube videos actually helped him become successful as he is today. All right, let's dive into this. Swifters, let everybody know what you found to be the main ingredient that helped you grow and succeed on YouTube. One main ingredient to a successful YouTube channel, I think it's just posting videos that you love and that you enjoy, not what everyone wants to see, just to post content that you like, not content that other people want to see. So as long as you do you and you post quality videos and you're constant with your uploads. I started my channel off with zombies and I was fortunate enough to have the transfer from zombies to GTA and I was lucky enough to enjoy the game and to have positive feedback and support on my channel from that. Okay, let's do an early random question. What's your favorite pizza topping? That's easy, bacon. Bacon, just just bacon. Bacon and cheese. My favorite type of pizza is barbecue chicken. Jump from the tomato sauce to the barbecue sauce. That's my go-to, that's my go-to. Interesting, I'm more of a Chicago style pizza myself, but uh, that's beside the point. Anyway, what social media sites have you actually found that have worked along your successful YouTube adventure? I think Facebook, I mean, there is that fine line between do I really want to post my YouTube channel on Facebook and, you know, have people at my school know what I do um, and know that I make these YouTube videos. Um, but I think, like, Facebook is, like, a small thing that I did. Um, for the most part, it's kind of all just been through YouTube. A quick side note, um, XJaws, who has almost a million subscribers on YouTube, he's actually my second cousin. I didn't know this. I met him one time at... Um, one of my cousin's bar mitzvahs because you know, I'm Jewish even though I've got this uh, holiday Christmas shirt on <laughs> So yeah, I'm Jewish and um, it was at my cousin's bar mitzvah and I met him and I had no idea who he was I didn't even watch his videos at the time, but like, you know a couple months later my mom came up to me and was like um, You know, there's this person on YouTube who posts video games and he just won this crazy $10,000 and this trip to the Gre the Grecian Islands and she said that that was my cousin and it was the craziest thing so I looked him up on YouTube and I saw like who he was and I remember meeting him and it was the craziest experience so extra Sam extra is my cousin yeah oh wow man that's really interesting so you actually are a cousin to a really big celebrity youtuber all right, all the big YouTubers are telling me that consistency, consistent uploading is actually a big benefit and it helps you grow. So the question is, do you agree? And have you found that by consistently uploading on a certain schedule that you've had to find certain adversities or challenges along the way? This past summer, uh, I've been, I uploaded almost two to three times a day consecutively, like every single day. So uploading, yeah, I was pumping out videos as best as I can, and this past summer is when I really started to grow exponentially. I mean, I have been since the start of my channel, but challenge-wise, I think it's after I've gotten the habit of posting all of these videos so constantly and so many videos, when I had to take a break, like when I had to go out of town or when I had other commitments in my life that hindered my ability to post videos, I think those were challenges for me because I got in this routine of posting all of these videos and having to stop sometimes like is it it sucks cuz like i just want to make videos and i want to get content out for my my followers and my subscribers so that's probably a big challenge that i've had to overcome uh, you've been on youtube for a while swifters what is your craziest or most memorable comment that you've ever seen my most memorable comment i have ever received was actually on my instagram after i had shouted that out on youtube so i did my face reveal and I shouted out my Instagram with that. So a lot of my subscribers moved from my YouTube to my Instagram. And I posted a picture of me with a bunch of donuts because I had just gone and gotten donuts. And someone commented on my Instagram photo, don't f the donuts when you get home. And I, I 
didn't, couldn't really believe what he said because it was my personal Instagram, so you know people from my school could all see this. So I mean, I just had to delete that immediately. But that was probably the most memorable comment. And whenever I tell people that, people laugh. So that's probably my most memorable comment. Interesting, interesting. So what is your biggest accomplishment? I bet you you have, you have 100,000 subscribers. That maybe that big silver plaque that's coming in the mail, or maybe you already have it. Biggest accomplishment is probably reaching 100,000 subscribers. I'm sure that's what a lot of people say. Silver Plaque, I'm still waiting for YouTube to contact me about that. Well, hopefully I get that contact soon. I got a nice space on my wall. I could go put it up somewhere or somewhere over here. So, we'll see. All right, last question. Guilty pleasure, my friend. What in the world drives you insane that just this jam, you're feeling it, you're loving it, but you don't want anybody to know and find out that you love this jam? What is it? Hallelujah from the Shrek movie. That song is my jam. Really? Yeah, I wanna hear you sing it. I heard there was a secret chord. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Nice, Swifters. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Impulse. Make sure you put in the comments below the next YouTuber that you wanna see. And again, the power of promotion knocking on their front door will actually cause them to maybe give me a call and say, hey, people are telling me that I should show up on Impulse for the interview section. Maybe I'll give it a whirl. All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different. I actually know who the next interview is going to be. It's Black X Worm. Put in the comments below what you think about Black X Worm. Link for his channel will be in the description below, but I want to know in the comments below what you think about him. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you find him annoying? Do you think his content's ridiculous? Do you think he's absolutely awesome and hilarious? Let me know in the comments below, and then your comment will show up on next week's episode. All right, Freedom Family, my name's Zan. You guys all know and love me. Make sure you believe in yourself and great things will happen to you. See ya. The last question which I ask all of my uh, yeah. celebrity YouTubers on this show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared, it's, it's, okay. it's coming at you. Um, okay, a guilty pleasure based on a song. I actually asked this question to somebody and he goes, so like a literal pleasure that I feel guilty about? I was like, no. <laughs>